best part of waking up is that Corbin's not there. I was gonna say something funnier. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you've also Instagram, Twitter, Twitter for our juicy contest. The Patriots are going to be squad. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, you know what's in here? Two pumps. Yeah. That's all you can do. Uh, <laughs> Hi, welcome to our stupid reactions. This is what you get. Yep. Uh, we is dumb. We hit a million. I don't know if I, probably not, but yeah. That uh, depends on when this one yeah, goes. Yeah, it just depends on when We this never know. Up. I was predicting and I think it could come true. You think so? I do. I think we're going to hit the million. That'd be bad because then we can't drop a, a movie review. Of <laughs> sure we could. No, we couldn't. No, well, I think something else is coming out that day. Yeah, but uh, we, uh, my prediction was that we would hit a million on May 2nd, which is the 100th birthday of Sacha de Try. Who's he? Who is that man? Today we're doing a creep video. This is called Top 10 Best Slip Catches. What? Did you say a creep video? Creep. It. Creak it. <laughs> creak it good! Uh, so this is the Have you best... Heard what shit's going on with the English Premier League? No. Oh my god. Again, What's going on? You all know if you... Uh, a bunch of ownership... I'll say... I'll a bunch of ownership greed. Seriously? Yes. I'll tell you this right now, and I will say this unashamedly. In the American League East, Boston's in first place and the Yankees are in the basement. The Yankees are sucking it. They suck dong! They suck right now and they need to get their act but together. Also, Congrats to Boston for being great right April. now. April. <laughs> it, it, it means nothing. Yeah. It they means played that, 15 games. I think multiple years we've yeah. got first and then we end up being last. Yeah, so. they play, they've played 15 games. April they got baseball means 140 nothing. 140 to go, so... Anyways, we're doing a creepy video. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What's a slip catch? catch? I don't know. I don't know if it's like you slip and lot... you accidentally caught it. No, I got a lot of naughty things I could say right now, but I'm going to keep them inside. It's probably the best. Yeah. Uh, a slip catch. So I'm guessing. Maybe, I'm... yeah, it's when you slip and fall and catch it anyway. That'd be impressive. Catch at the slip is extremely difficult. Most often, you don't get enough time to react as the ball travels even faster after hitting the bat. But some people are just so good at it. Okay, so it's a quick catch. He's got a very safe pair of hands. Today at Simply Chumon, we are counting down the top 10 best slip catches. This is just the first part as we are sure to get some terrific slip catches, like the recent one by Kohli. Almost like a nip slip. So let's get the ball rolling. Number 10, big man Levy Rock will never forget this catch to dismiss Tendulkar. Edged and taken! Oh! That one probably stung. I love getting up and running. That's a big boy! Levy Rock will catch up. He's on the lap of on the way, is he? I think he's a good suction. He's miles away, he is the big man, the Sorry to bring up this painful memory. He's flown like a gazelle. I can't believe it. A brilliant. He's flown like a gazelle. Look at him. He's an ogre. That's what a snail. Hey, pants. He sets off now. He's on his way. Ow. The earth's short. <laughs> that was great oh, mobility for a guy that size. Oh, He's oh man. I'm That's the biggest boy well. I've seen play that, cricket. That was impressive. Number nine, Jay Vardhani. Yes, he did juggle, but the reflexes that he showed were tremendous. Oh, that was one hand to the other. Impressive. I, he juggled that. That's a tip catch right there. You will never see a better first slip catch than this. Yeah, better first slip catch than that. You will go straight to this field without replay after replay. But in normal time, this is one of the best you've seen. What incredible. Quite yeah, hey. Wow. Classic. Way to keep your eye on the ball, man. Number eight, Paul Collingwood. Paul took an amazing catch for Durham to dismiss Somerset's Peter Treggles. It would have been nice to have seen it. Yeah, I think it went up and then it was back here. It's so crazy that I could just go back there. 
Yeah, those are always cool, like when you... Um... Number seven, Chris Jordan. No wonder... Oh! Yes, he has. That's a good one. That is a fantastic... It's like when the pitcher Number catches six, the ball. Number six, Vinish he took a screamer to dismiss Brown Smith. Quality was bad. terrible. I couldn't see it. Yeah, yeah, really bad. Yeah, either the pitcher or the third baseman on a line drive down the line. Show it again. He oh, God. That's yeah, even worse. <laughs> I'm sure it was impressive. The quality on this video is terrible. There, that's better. That's very impressive. Number five, <laughs> Alan Border. John Reed was looking dangerous, and Border yeah. came up with this. It's an well, he's been standing in that position, waiting for an opportunity to make a contribution. And what a catch it nice. was. Gilbert got to the edge. Border went full length to his left, and he caught it in the end of his fingers. It's a magnificent catch by Alan Border. Number four, Rahul Dravid. Oh! Dravid is an amazing fielder. Oh, that was like... Drive to take this brilliant catch off the bowling of Sachin. A struck for India. Damien Martin has gone. And Raul Dravid continues this Indian tradition of pulling off great catches. What a catch. Dang! For me, it's catch off the mat so far. You know how fast so your brain has to turn, talk to your hand. Right the again. And what a catch taken by Raul Dravid. How it's far is he behind him? Like five feet? Guys, maybe. Six let me see. Let me see. Have a look at this dive. Yeah, from 10 feet max? Dravid. Maybe. Number three, Ricky Ponting. Ponting does the incredible to dismiss Jamie Howe. Oh! Now that's good quality. Catch, Ricky Ponting. That was like this high off the ground. Oh, what a catch. That's the best one, definitely, so far. Why do they wear cardigans? You see it, then you then react, and I was able to take like half a step to my right and then dive it as far as I could and you know, pretty outstretched there and now actually stay in my hand. That was great. Really I like the Australian fun. accent. Number two, this was a brilliant shot by Stewart, which was beaten by an even more brilliant catch by Mark Wood. Pixelated, couldn't really tell. Brilliant, brilliant catch. Mark Wood's caught some stunners in this series, but nothing better than that. And that's the end of Alex Stewart. That went like a rocket. Well, Alex Stewart will be cross with himself there. It was a terrific catch. Really outstanding. That seems hot where that card again. The shot is not to be remembered. I mean, okay. That's outstanding catch. One handed, going quickly. Number one, Eunice Khan. Oh! He became a Superman for a few seconds when he dived out for this catch. Down! That's impressive. You know when in um, NBA, Michael Jordan did a, a, a dunk and it became the NBA's logo essentially? Yeah. That should that could have become that like be, cricket's yeah. logo. What do you think of this? <laughs> did you enjoy this video? Write to us in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, so some of those very, very impressive. It's just like yeah. Even though some of you hate it, it's all we can equate it to. Even though we've seen a few games, we're just more familiar with baseball. It's like it's yeah. it's really difficult when a somebody hits uh, hits a ball, and then the pitcher or the uh, especially the pitcher, especially the pitcher, because he's the closest. He's yeah. what? How far is it? Sixty? Sixty feet, six inches. Yeah, uh, from him, and that ball's probably going over a hundred miles an hour, coming off, off the bat. Always, almost always. Uh, obviously, they catch it with a glove. And they're also not in a position. So, for example, the next closest person's going to be the guy on third, who's going to be about 95, 100 but feet away. who's on second? Nice. Thanks. And the, when you're a third baseman or any infielder, you're already in a position. You're prepared. You're waiting. So you're waiting, and you're usually shifting your weight. And you can tell where the ball is being pitched. You can kind of get an idea based on where the ball is and when the batter starts to swing, what direction the ball is going to go in. And you can start to move before the ball's hit. 
the difference with a pitcher is not only are they half the distance, mm -hmm. they've just finished releasing the ball. So they're not in a really good position to be prepped for that thing to come flying back out. Yeah, usually they catch like <laughs> It's just instinctual, and a lot of times guys get yeah. beamed and hit yeah. hard. Because obviously it's coming off real hard. Yeah. But obviously this, they're... You have to tell me how far back they are. I, I, max, they're 10 feet. It looked like, with the one you were pointing it out, yeah. it looked like he was no more than five or six meters, which would be like close to seven, eight feet. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's extremely quick. And I'm assuming the ball's probably coming off 60 to... No, I, I had some stupid babies tell me, the average uh, bowler is gonna be in the ballpark but coming off the bat. Well, it depends on the direction, Yeah, but... Like that one, when it's going backwards off the bat, sometimes a ricochet off the bat, it'll pick up speed. Yeah. So it's going to be leaving, it's going to be hitting the bat somewhere in the neighborhood on the slow side, 80 miles an hour, on the Ooh. high side, 90. And you're catching it with your, with your bare, bare hand. hand. You're getting that thing probably on those things. Your bare hand catching that thing somewhere in the neighborhood on the low end, 70, on the high end, 95. And you're either five hand. to 10 feet away it's crazy the closest person in, in baseball outside of the um, the catcher obviously behind yeah. the, the batsman yeah. is 60 feet away yeah but obviously the, it's coming off the bat i think much faster it does come off faster, uh, and you do have a glove yeah so there's obviously different factors there but that man that's that's crazy fast hand brain coordination and again i would really love to know like we we know what the common injuries would be for the for nba players nfl players and major league baseball players we know what those common injuries are. I can't imagine the most common injury for a, a, a cricketer is going to be hands. I can't imagine that's not the most common injury is fingers, yeah. fingers and hands getting smashed by that ball. Something getting smashed by the ball. Yeah, he, uh... it's got to be fingers. There, and they, I've got to like. There's certain sports where you can tell the person did that sport for a long time. Yeah, I imagine the hands of a cricketer after many, many years of playing, especially which position you are, are gnarled yeah. and arthritic later on. <clears throat> well, incredible athleticism. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to, obviously before COVID, we were, I think, getting a cricket team here. So I don't know if we still are. I think we still are. It's just, I think they've slowed yeah. the process down. But uh, it'd be cool to see some cricket games because, well, I mean, we would definitely see some stupid babies yeah. uh, at, at these games. But let us know what other cricket videos we should react to uh, down below. Da <laughs> <laughs>